Hey, what's up guys and dolls? M here as usual, and welcome back to the Toyland. Here we are looking at the uh, other Batman mask set that I have that I told you we would take a peek at. This is the Death of the Family book set, which some of you might recognize that slightly altered title from Death in the Family, which is what happened, or what they called it when... Uh, the Joker beat Jason Todd Robin to death. That storyline was called Death in the Family. Death of the Family, as hinted by that title, kind of does the same thing. Kind of. I can't. I don't want to say too much. I don't want to give it away. I guess... It's not quite... Right, this is what I can say without spoiling it. It's not quite as big of a deal as the death of Jason Todd was. Like, that was a huge deal. But this is on a bigger scale, if that makes sense. So, um, like right here. See that, that little quote? This is a book you need to read. Um, I agree. If I had to pick, from the entire New 52 run, if I had to pick two Batman books to suggest to you guys... It would be this one, Volume 3, Death of the Family, and Volume 7, Endgame. Both Joker stories, both freaking phenomenal. Excellent, excellent, excellent stories. Excellent writing. Of course, still Scott Snyder. He did all of the, uh, for this title, for Batman, because there's also Detective Comics Batman and whatnot. But yeah, Scott Snyder kills it. He's amazing. So... Here's the cover of the book, obviously, again. We won't do too much about the book because we will go through that in the book review. But sweet, I love this cover art. Pretty simple, but very, very cool. You can see on the mask box itself that it kind of replicates that cover. Most of you probably recognize this, if not from the book, then from the Endgame figure, which kind of had some stuff going on like that. His his hands are kind of posed like that, and he holds his old face. I don't know if you guys like know that story too well, but just to give you some context and background, at one point, the Joker gets his face removed in the New 52 and it kind of floats around for a while. It, like, different people end up with it and stuff. Um, eventually, I'm not sure if that's before or after the Joker. Like, does the Joker get it back and then puts it on? I don't know. But he does wear it around for a while, all strapped to his face, which is what this mask is. You can see some of his face meat there. But it's all stitched on and held together with clasps. And that's his appearance for a while. Um, but then he kind of disappears. Again, I can't say too much about anything so you guys can read this stuff. And eventually he comes back with a new face. So if you're curious about all that craziness, you're going to have to read it. I mean, I recommend it. <laughs> but yeah. So take a look at this box. Here is the front. Death of the Family Book and Mask. You can see the Joker's creepy, awesome face in there. Batman at the top. There's the side. A good example of the Joker. You can see his facial tissue, his muscle coming through the top there. And, of course, the skin is just kind of stretched over his face. Held on with... Here's like a strap with three... They're almost like big staples. <laughs> this thing here. And he's got these... He's got pieces here, here, and here to hold the mouth open like a giant smile. Very cool. Very creepy. I've been waiting for you, old friend. Very creepy. I love it. This is actually one of my favorite uh, renditions of the Joker. Is this Joker, where he had his face cut off. But then proceeds to, like, wear it anyway. <laughs> Um, this is a book you need to read. We've seen that. Snyder might be the defining writer. We've seen that on the last one. have to agree with both of those. Here you can uh, pause and read that if you would like. 
gives you a little insight and this side is the same thing oh if you look real close it's got all these little faint ha ha ha's in the background pretty cool cool boxes for these things so yeah let's pop this guy open take a look dusty on top So there's the tray similar to the other where it just kind of sits on there. This one has a nose though, unlike the other. All right, so here's the mask itself. See, it's got this netted wig inside. It's actually pretty nice. And it's held on with these two straps that have Velcro on either end of them. It's a nice like rubbery latex material. It's definitely not uh, like the Court of Owls mask. This is more like a Halloween rubber mask. A lot of nice detailing on it though. Lots of paint work. A creepy mouth. Yeah, lots of detail to this thing. The straps for holding it on aren't the greatest, especially because they're higher up on the head. They, they come off these straps here, like they're supposed to be those. But uh, they're so high up, it doesn't do much for the face. Um, I've actually considered customizing this thing and doing something similar to what he actually does, like actually putting some kind of... Well, maybe not even a real metal hook here, but attaching something at the end of it that can go around the back of my head to better secure this thing. Because otherwise, this doesn't sit flush against your face. I've also considered cutting the mouth out. Because then it would be more like his actual skin face, because obviously his teeth are not attached to his skin. So if you cut this out, and then did some makeup work on your own mouth and lips, you could actually probably create a pretty kick-ass uh, Joker custom featuring this version. Um, I have wore this. You guys have seen this on me. Uh, when I did the Joker Funko Pop giveaway, uh, when I did the drawing for the winner, I had this mask on. So you guys have got to see that on me. I know Quadrant, you wanted to see the Court of Owls mask on me, so I'll try to do that for you sometime. But just want to let you guys know you have seen this on me if you're curious. And if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. And you can see this mask in action. Yeah, very cool. Uh, it's I think it's definitely a higher quality than the uh, the Court of Owls mask. Just because it's, like, it's real rubber. It's got a wig attached with a nice net. It's just a lot more complex and a lot more to it than that uh, Court of Owls mask. Which, don't get me wrong, the Court of Owls mask is cool. But this mask is kind of put into a league all its own. Yeah. Very cool. Very creepy. Uh, it, it kind of freaks my son out, genuinely. And he he's a smart kid. He's only seven, but uh, I have him well-versed in the uh, the whole like line between reality and, and, and fake things. You know, like movies and all that kinds of stuff. Like, he, he'll watch a horror movie and, he, you know, he might get freaked out a little, but he understands it's not real. But this mask freaks him out bad. Like, when I put it on, yeah, he hates it. It was probably torture for him to sit in that chair strapped there in that Joker video where he was, he was Batman. He was my Batman. I had him tied to a chair. Not literally. Just looked like it. <laughs> Use some, some movie trickery. So, yeah, um, not much more to say about this thing. I'm going to sit here and repeat myself. It's a very cool mask. Again, highly recommend it. Uh, also, again, I'm not sure what this mask also is going for nowadays. They could be a little cheaper than when they first came out, or, you know, if I'm not even sure how sought after they are, but they could also be hard to find now I'm not sure not sure mostly because once I have something I stop looking at it online 
Every once in a while I check on stuff. I should probably check on these, see how they're doing for prices and stuff. So, yeah, I guess that's about it there. Um, a couple updates for you guys. Listen closely, this is important. At least one of them is pretty important. Um, I'm going to do a video coming up here I have planned, and we're going to look at the DC deck building game, if you guys know what that is. It's a card game featuring DC comic characters. There's also a, a, a Marvel version, too, that I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head right now. I've played it before, though. But, uh, yeah, I've got the DC deck building game. And it's not like other card games. It's not like your Pokemons and your Yu-Gi-Oh's where you like you can like buy decks and you have to buy decks to play. And then you can buy like booster packs and stuff to get better cards. This game, although there are expansions for it, it comes with everything you need to play. You, you don't start with a deck. That's why it's called the deck building game. You literally start with a deck of like 10 cards. And then as you go you pick up more and you build your deck and you keep doing that until the game's over which it's over when something specific happens but we'll get into that when I actually do it I just want to let you guys know it's coming um, I also have a it just dawned on me I think yesterday that I'm gonna do another giveaway and it's gonna start I think Christmas Day and what I it's gonna be sweet too because I won't have to mail anybody anything like my last three giveaways the next giveaway, which I said will probably start on Christmas, I'm probably going to end the current giveaway for that uh, Marvel Iron Man canvas. Probably end that on Christmas and start the other one. But I'm going to give away a digital code for the Suicide Squad movie. So you can you enter, you win, I'll private message you, you'll get the code, you'll have the movie to watch. So if you're interested in that, keep your eye out. It's coming real soon. Um, yep, that's it for news. That's it for this. I'm done. Thanks, as always, for tuning in, guys. I appreciate it. And until next time, keep on rocking.